Hi, I'm Shannon Christensen, artist, author, and family advocate. Today I'm going to share with you my series of art and books. It's where books inspire art. The first book I'm going to share with you is one that I picked up because I fell in love with the photographs. The photos are amazing. They're of individual snowflakes, where the photos have been taken right before the snowflakes melt. The next book is Snowflakes. It's a field guide, something that you can take out with you when you go out and you're in the snow, which led to this book, Snowflake Bentley. It's about a man who made it his life's passion to photograph snowflakes. And the author, Jacqueline, mentions that artists and designers use the photographs to inspire their own work. That's what we're going to do here today. We're going to let these snowflakes inspire our art project for today. The supplies you'll need are transparency sheets, watercolor paper in different sizes, one's eight and a half by ten, one is five by seven, the other is two and a half by three and a half. You'll also need watercolor paints. You'll also need a wide head paintbrush, a permanent marker, white crayons not the washable white crayons, a cup of water, and a rag. To get our library of snowflake images, I take one of the books that I have that have real photographs of snowflakes. I open up to one of the simpler snowflakes. I take one of my transparency sheets and place it over the top of a snowflake. I take my permanent marker, and while I hold the transparency sheet down with one hand, I trace the snowflake image with the other. I'm going to start with a real simple one that just requires lines. I start at one edge of the line and go straight across following the snowflake underneath. And as I'm doing this, I'm practicing my parallel line drawing skills. And I'll show you my first pattern of the snowflake. To trace a more complicated design, you're going to take your transparency sheet, hold it down, and it will take a little more time. But you can start with tracing the outside of the shape, just as we did with some of the other snowflake shapes. Now you can see our little snowflake that's a little more complicated. Now we have a good library of images right here that we can work with. We're going to need our light table, and we're going to need our white crayon. All right, I'm going to take my transparency, my watercolor paper, and place it over the top of my transparency. I'm going to take my white crayon, and I'm going to trace over the simple image. I'm just going to do a hard pressure, and start off with a simple one. That way it'll make it a little bit easier on you. Now I want to do a larger snowflake, and a more detailed snowflake. So I take the one I traced that's larger, I put my transparency down first, then I place my watercolor paper over the top. Now I'm placing the watercolor paper off center so some of the snowflake isn't going to be seen on the paper because I want to put another snowflake over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing. Now I'm just about done with tracing over all the lines I see. And now we're ready to move on to the watercolor. All right, now we're ready to see our snowflake come to life. We're going to start with a small one, and we're going to use, use just one color. This is watercolor, so you need plenty of water. And what you want is a wash, something not dark like this. You want something lighter like this. So what we're going to do is do the wash right across. And we're just going to take brush strokes right across the snowflake. And you can see that the wide brush really helps to take that watercolor across. And that's where our snowflake comes to life. All right, let's do our large one. Again, I'm going to start with wash water in my color, and I'm going to start with a light color. And with the bigger pieces, you need plenty of water. And I brush it across there. And I love how the magic happens when you can start to see what you did earlier. 
Now I'm going to take a little bit of a darker green. Plenty of water. If it gets too dry, then you just drag color across there and it doesn't quite work. So you need plenty of water. I got my, a medium green. Then I'm going to take a lighter blue. And I can go back and forth into the color I had there previously. It mixes it that way. Now I have a lot of color here, so what I'm doing, I'm just dipping it in the water and not my paint and going on there to make this more of a wash. And a wash again is when you use the pigment with the water. Now I'm going to go and add a little purple. And I'm going to get some more water, some more pigment. I'm going to go all the way to the edge. Again, dip in the water. And I go right across there. I can go back and pick up a little more color and put some more color up there if I want to to blend it in. Again, if that's too much color, I dry off my brush and I pull the color off again. Put it in my in my rag. Pull off the color. Put it in my rag. And there you have your snowflakes come to life. I hope you enjoyed this book-inspired art project.